Hello, this is Ben Falk for KillerSites.com. Welcome to a brand new series on object-oriented PHP. It seems like there's a bit of a need for something on the intermediate level. It's a step above the object-oriented PHP course that Stefan did at KillerPHP.com slash tutorials slash object-oriented PHP. Um, but that's a little bit of a step below the advanced PHP course, which you can find here. Um, which talks about significantly more advanced subjects. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be focusing on practical examples, something that you can use in your everyday life or at the very least apply in your everyday programming. So let me give you a glance at what we're going to be building today. We're going to be building a basic login system using object-oriented PHP. Functionality-wise, you'll notice this particular course is not all that different from my previous PHP login series, um, at least for the moment with the videos I'm going to be talking about today. Um, however, keep in mind that the back end, the code itself, is significantly different. Um, we're going to be using entirely object-oriented programming for this particular course. So the functionality may look similar, but the actual code that produces it is quite different. Uh, my goal is not to duplicate all of the functionality that's available in the other course. Um, I'm going to be focusing primarily on the simple basic functionality, someone being able to log in and log out. Um, so as an example, you see I have the website open. Um, you can go in, you can hit fill in the username and password, hit submit, and it tells you you've successfully entered the members area and you can log out. So I'm keeping this pretty simple. Um, I'm trying to do the absolute basics because I don't want to confuse people too much. Um, but we're, we're going to be focusing on building two main objects. We're going to be building an authorization object, which is going to handle the tasks involved with um, querying a database, checking if users are logged in, um, checking users' author, you know, username and password to make sure it matches the database, those sort of tasks. And we're also going to be building a basic templating system, um, which makes it easy for you to load your views, um, display certain information in those views, and I'll be explaining that step by step. To follow along with this course, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a computer with PHP set up. Um, I'm assuming that you should have this in place already, because I'm also assuming that you've worked through Stefan's object-oriented PHP series, the beginner's course. Um, so you obviously need that. Um, you're going to need a basic text editor. I mean, even Notepad or something simple will work. Um, I'm a fan of Coda. And you also need a computer that has PHP 5 set up. And you can briefly check that. Um, assuming you're using something like MAMP or WAMP, um, it should be up to date. You should be running PHP 5 by now and I would say 90% of all hosts should be running PHP 5 as well. Um, it's been out for several years. So um, if you want to check that briefly, I have a file set up and that file looks like this as the PHP info function and it tells you the version in the header. One final note as this video wraps up um, I do want to be clear that while I am trying to keep this as an intermediate level course as much as possible, some of the stuff we will be going over is complicated. It is a little bit confusing as you first get started to realize how all the different files interact and how they interconnect, and it's something that I had struggled with when I first got started with object-oriented PHP. So keep that in mind. Um, if you do run into challenges, I would suggest watching the video more than once. Um, you may want to try experimenting on your own a little bit. Sometimes doing it yourself helps things click. Um, and feel free to post on the Killer Sites forums if you need any help. Um, I'm always around. I'm always happy to help out with questions. So, like I said, um, you have some resources available to you if you have issues. Well, that brings this video to a close. Thanks for following along, and definitely check out part two. I'm going to be talking a little bit about object-oriented PHP and MVC theory, um, just a little bit, enough to get you started, and how to set up the database and your files so you can follow along with this course. Thanks.